I wasn't born with a silver spoon, but I was determined to carve one for myself. However, I had no idea about how and what to do to get the silver spoon or the materials to carve it. But I was just going with the flow. I got married in 2013 as a final year student in tertiary institution. This was a deliberate decision as I felt it would allow me to pursue my dreams. I know you must be wondering how. My mom wanted me to become a doctor and my dad had aspiration of me becoming a lawyer or journalist. However, my heart was set on a different path. I wanted to become a fashion designer. Neither of my parents liked the idea. I went on to study zoology at Lagos State University and also took part-time course in journalism with little or no interest. Yes, I earlier mentioned that my escape plan was true marriage. During my final year in school, I took that sleep and got married. Fortunately, my husband not only loves my dream, but is wholeheartedly committed to supporting my journey into the world of fashion. I had enrolled for formal training at a fashion school in 2015. My husband and I boldly moved to Dubai as we encountered challenges with our visas. I took the initiative to apply for positions at various fashion houses. After submitting applications, the breakthrough I had been waiting for arrived. I received a call that offered me a position with one of Dubai's most prestigious fashion brands. I was privileged to design and work with over 50 different nationalities. I was among the highest paid employee. This was a dream come true for me. But we had to come back to Nigeria. Moving back was a difficult decision for me, but I had to support my husband. We wanted to be close to our family for support after childbirth. Unfortunately, after giving birth, we couldn't return to Dubai due to COVID-19. And I lost my job. The COVID-19 pandemic made it extremely challenging for us to start a new life in Nigeria. We struggled to cover our living expenses. In response, I had to relocate to Lagos in search of a suitable place to begin my fashion business. I acquired and paid for a shared space in Lagos. I crafted dresses at home and then transported them to my new workspace for display. This involved a daily journey of about 162 kilometers. Unfortunately, this routine only spanned for two weeks as news of the lockdown emerged, forcing my business to be on hold. Consequently, most of my clients requested refunds. I couldn't meet their demands due to restrictions on activities. But here is the shocker. One quiet evening, the shop owner asked me to vacate the space explaining that she was no longer interested in renting its house. With my dad's support, we went to carry my belongings, only to be met with the heartbreaking sight of my products ruined by flood. I refused to give up. I swiftly changed my approach to online sales. I showcased the bridal dresses I made on the web. To my surprise, the majority of inquiries were from individuals seeking training rather than purchasing. With the support of my husband, I embraced this new direction and ventured into training people on how to make beautiful garments. Alas, another obstacle surfaced. We required an office space for training as my home was situated far from town. My husband embarked on the search for office space, but the costs were exorbitant. We eventually settled for a shared workspace and made the payments as people were enrolling in our training program. With just two sewing machines, a table and a dress form, we started. Under two years, I found myself living my dream once more. 
requests for training and partnership with organization came in steadily. To accommodate more students, I expanded my physical space and also introduced online training. To date, we have successfully trained over 500 women and the enrollment in my fashion school continues to grow. I have come to realize that there will always be a way out of any situation, if only we won't limit ourselves. When the going gets tough, only the tough gets going. Thank you.